Uh, can I make him my friend again? No. Alright, let's make some armor, and then we'll just have to kill him and cook him for his meat. Which, I may seem cold-blooded, but seriously, I mean, the dude won't leave me alone. And unless I want to move my whole camp, this pig's gotta die. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here. I'm back in your life with another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Geeks, I ain't a kid. I've been around the block, and if I can offer you a little bit of advice about friendships, when you make a new friend, do not chop him in the face with an axe while he's sleeping, because that's a Librius, and he is really pissed at me after I accidentally chopped his face with an axe while he was sleeping. That's it. That's the lesson for today's episode. Um, I had just made a new friend, a science machine, etc. Alchemy engine, and now we got a pig that really wants to kill us. I think the new goal, sadly, is to make a spear, make some armor, and put Alibrius out of his misery. I make a spear right here using rope. I know that. What's the other thing that I need? Nothing. All right, now let's, okay, move along for a sec. Uh, can I make him my friend again? No. All right, let's make some armor and then we'll just have to kill him and cook him for his meat. Which, I may seem cold-blooded, but seriously, I mean, the dude won't leave me alone. And unless I wanna move my whole camp, this pig's gotta die. All right, make some armor. How do you make some armor? Right here. Uh, limestone, I don't have limestone. Okay, run. Okay, he smacked me silly. All right, the spear is gonna be enough. I have messed around. Now you done it, fool. You damn stupid pig bastard. Get, get. Yeah, give me a charge and I'll dodge you. Oh, he's beating my ass. Oh God. He is beating the hell out of me. I'll crunch these flower petals. Hopefully they bring me back to life. Okay. He's good, man. He like, he'll come in, he'll do a double attack, and then he'll run away. I haven't even got a hit off on him. Okay, I guess, I guess killing a pig is a much harder thing to do than I thought. You making a charge at me from that far away, you doofus? As soon as he makes his charge, he, he pieces out. This is gonna be a horrible episode. Is this a whole episode of me running away from Alibrius? If that's the case, I mean, I mean, seriously, leave me alone, you dumb pig bastard. I'll burn down your house. Where's your house at? I f you know what? I didn't mean to hit you in the face with the damn axe. Leave me alone. Damn it, guys. This, e oh, God, my whole mojo has been thrown right off by this idiot pig. Dude can't, can't let a grudge go. Can't bury the damn hatchet. I'd like to bury this hatchet right in your stupid pig snout. I'll tell you that much. Try it. Oh, yeah? Get chopped in the mouth. Oh! Hmm. Now, I hate this because, um, I've already recorded all the previous episodes as Tom Hanks, and I ended the last one on such a damn high note until I chopped that pig in the face. But guys, that's what happens. This game has permadeath and it's relentless. It just means we're gonna have to keep restarting. And luckily this is at the beginning of an episode. I'm sorry I have now died. It's Tom Hanks, we're starting again. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh my God, I can't believe that. I, I didn't even mean to smack him in the face. I already got my character picked out. Next time, if I die again, we'll do Wolani. She's the one with the surfboard. Today we're doing Woody, the lumberjack. Because nobody in this game looks more like me than this ginger-bearded, plaid-wearing, ginger-haired lumberjack with a dark, dark secret and an axe that talks to him. I didn't plan on doing a restart this episode, obviously, but we're doing one. And you know what? Maybe we'll just get like... Oh. That's my alarm. <laughs> just in case I slept in this morning. Uh, maybe we'll just get like incredibly lucky. Why did I try and fight that pig? I said in the first episode... Yeah, look at this handsome bastard. This is Woody. He starts with an axe, and it's unbreakable, and her name is Lucy, and she talks to him with a rusty hinge sound. Uh, so you can start chopping wood right off the bat. And the only thing is about Woody- Oh, God! Lucy is really bad at killing. She's not a weapon. She's a tool. 
a finely honed tool for chopping down trees. And uh, attempting to fight some snakes with her would just be a big waste of time. You have to hit them way too many times. I did a live stream as Woody. It was real fun. Um, yeah, hopefully this is just like an island with a golden boulder on it. And we're just like, done. Like, we got a base, episode one. Oh yeah, you guys decide to go to sleep, eh? No, I smash ya. Okay, shouldn't have done that. Don't pick a fight you can't win. That was the advice I gave in episode one. Clearly unable to follow it. Completely unable to follow it. Chopping monkey, monkeys and pigs and snakes and... God, I'm bad at this game. That's alright. You guys don't seem to mind. You're like, oh, it's okay. Cheer up. You'll do better next time. Meanwhile, I'm here kicking myself. Although, we've never played with a ginger beard. And uh, if I have any defining features, that's probably one of them. And uh, now we have Woody, who has got a tremendous beard of orange hair. Wiry orange whiskers. He's a man after my own heart. I wear plaid. I wear a ton of plaid. And um, he has a dark, dark secret, as do I. And it's a dark secret, so I'm not going to bring it up. That's how dark secrets work. you got to keep them d secrets. And obviously they have to be very dark. Like, they they'd have to disturb people for it to be a, a dark secret, I think. That's my understanding of dark secrets. He definitely has one. If you haven't watched my live stream... Oh, death to all trees. That's Lucy. If, she, if you don't let Woody use an axe for a while, she's like... Come on, Woody. Chop some trees. Chop some trees. Woody, you really need to chop some trees. And then it's like he's possessed and he has to. And, uh, I, you know what? I would tell you what his thing is, but if you haven't watched the live stream, you'll have to wait and hope I live long enough to show you what his dark, dark secret is in this, uh, this game. I'm just gonna collect some resources. I hope we stumble on some golden boulders, but, I mean, what are the odds of that, right? It's taken till episode two, or never in each of the runs we've done this of course episode six of don't starve shipwrecked in the beginning of our third run we did one as wilson lasted three days found no gold three episodes i don't know how many days eight nine days something like that found no gold and eventually died i can't remember how even and then obviously tom hanks first episode was rough second episode just lit it up gold alchemy engine Science machine, spear, pig, pig buddy. Then this episode, murdered by a pig buddy after accidentally chopping him in the face. And now we're Woody. Hopefully this is just like the best run ever. I'm going to keep collecting limpets, keep collecting seashells. At some point we're going to have to make a boat. A hat would be a great thing to start with. You know what, I can make that now. Let's get this guy a nice hat. There you go. Dude's looking boss now. Uh, I think... If we want to build a boat, I mean, I guess I should check this island out thoroughly, right? There's Lucy. We did it, Woody. We did it. God, he's such a fun character. Every character in this game is fun. They got weird, quirky sides. They have amazing art and animations. Like, they look adorable. Look at the way he chops that tree. So cute. Are you okay, she's asking? I guess he's not talking to her. Day one. Oh god, it's noon on day one. Maybe it's afternoon. Who knows? We need to make a pick, get some rocks. And then tomorrow... Oh. Tomorrow, hatchet. Not hatchet, what you call it? Machete. And we'll go get some vines and... Uh, vines and bamboo, and we'll make a proper raft. But for today, let's gather up so we got the basic resources for a fire pit. Or, you know, if we were to happen to find gold, having all this stuff is useful. And we'll just keep collecting. Ooh, berries. Nice. Once I have 12 rocks, I can make fire pit. Cool. And I need 12 flower petals to make a bandana thing. Garland. I always forget what that's called. I think I'm going to have time to do that and... Um, and chop down some vines and bamboo in this episode. Assuming there's enough of each in this jungle. Oh, we need the backpack. I need to chop down one more tree to get the backpack. Okay, backpack time. Sick. Okay. Pick up this mushroom. 
Pick up more flowers. We need two more flowers and flower petals. I'm sure they're here. Hey, message in a bottle. Oh, cool. Give me, yes, flowers there. All right, so just in case things get crazy or we get crazy, we're gonna have some options. Now we make the machete and we chop into the dusk, into the night. I think you get three days done in an episode. We might not because I started this one. Maybe this will only be a two day run because I started this one as old Tom Hanks. That didn't go so well. Everybody loves him except old Elibrius the pig. I thought Tom Hanks was so charming and likable that he could hit his best friend in the face with an ax and the friend would be like, no worries, Tom. Do your thing. Forest. Dude's had some amazing roles. Why are we still talking about Tom Hanks? He's not even the main character of this series anymore. The main character is Woody. A crazed lumberjack version of myself. Uh, I need f one more of each. And to start a fire soon because it is almost like nighttime for real. Like scary nighttime. Uh, okay. Uh, yep. Okay, it's scary nighttime. I didn't realize it had happened, but it's here. Uh, let's build a fire pit. Oh god, snakes be chasing. I'm gonna have to smash you stupid snakes. Nope, don't pick a fight you can't win. Even if you can win, don't pick a fight you don't need to pick. There we go. We'll have to- hey! Yeah, make him fake charge it, and then you chop the hell out of him. Oh yeah, if there's two at once, it's a pain. And then you just come in and you just beat the hell out of them. Oh good, the whole snake train rolling into town, eh? Get chopped, you idiots. Sorry guys, I just shut the hell up right there. I had to concentrate. Uh, we're gonna cook. I think we're gonna cook this monster meat and even eat it. Uh, because it helps my... Yeah, I'll do it. And we'll just, uh, eat berries, too. And we got a cooked, uh, whatchamacallit mushroom. We cook this up. That'll heal our health. And take our sanity down a notch. Okay, well, let's just keep cooking. Let's cook up everything we got. Everything we got stored up. Oh, let's throw a little... F oh, plant it? No. Throw a little fuel on the fire. And we need one more uh, thing of bamboo for the morning, and we can make a raft and hopefully get the hell off this crap island. I don't know why I built the good fire pit here if I was planning on leaving, but uh, I did. Let's cook this last bit of monster meat. You never know when you're going to need it. Alright, we're good. Let's go chop down that last sprig. Is it a sprig? I don't think it's a sprig. You get sprigs of, like, thyme and parsley. Bamboo. This last bushel of bamboo. And we'll go make a, uh, a get the hell off this island boat. This is the uh, bamboo raft, I think. And at the very least, we can circle around our island. There we go. And make sure we haven't missed any golden boulders. Let's have a look at the map. I did a pretty good job. I mean, there's definitely more off to the left, so that's the direction we'll head. And let's take this thing. And we'll just boogie. We'll just set out in the open sea. And, uh, I can't see anything, she says. That's because I put you in my backpack, you stupid axe. Oh, what a cute character this is. One with his amazing axe. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee while we navigate the open water. Oh, wait. Message in a bottle. Now, this leads you to treasure. Read it. Close. Be close. Oh, God. That's a, that's a biome where we find gold guaranteed. That's our new target. That is the easiest way to find gold, is head for a golden biome. We're going to make it there today. I feel confident about that. Do I have the basic supplies to uh, make a fire? I still haven't had a sip of coffee. Hopefully you guys will be... Yeah, we do. Okay, hopefully you guys will be okay without entertainment for a moment while I, um, while I slurp this back. Yep, I think you were fine. You know what, if you're already 13, 14 minutes into a video, you got to be cool with, with your... Uh, with your Let's Player taking a moment to get some caffeine in his system. I woke up before work this morning. Gonna try and record back to back to- Oh! Another raft! Usually you find other stuff when you- Yes! Double spear gun. Cool. I've never used this spear gun. I don't know how they work. Maybe for Wobsters? 
I didn't mispronounce that. They're called Wobsters in the game with a W. Um, okay, okay. Damn waves. Coming the wrong direction. Okay, tell me I'm headed for the X mark in the spot. I am. We got a long ways to go, though. Do we ever? That's okay. We got the food. We got, we got to stop. Just crunch some limpets. Crunch some coconut. And we'll just carry on. Oh, good. We found a coral reef. That's always good. Let's see get limestone and limestone armor, among other things. Uh, we'll come back this way, because this is a lot, a lot of coral. Uh, we're going to need the limestone at some point, but uh, it's really time-consuming. If I were to stop and make start picking that now, I don't think we'd make it to this uh, terrifying volcano island filled with gold. I don't know if we'll make it there in time. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Uh... Definitely have on the stream, but I don't know if I've shown this biome that we're headed to in the series. All right, Lucy, you can come out of the backpack. Yes, I missed you. I missed you like crazy. We're going to get to this. Actually, there'll be nothing for Lucy to do on this island. See? Wobster den. That waskel is sleeping. Plow on, Woody. Are we at the right island? I might be on a different island. Oh, no. Yeah, we're not quite at the right island. We should at least have a look. We should see what's down this way. See what kind of an island we're passing by. Oh, I think I've gone too far. I hope we don't have to stop here for the night. I don't even see the island. No, carry on. Screw it. There's no island here. I don't think. That's alright. We're almost at the X mark in the spot. That is a barrel of gunpowder. I'm not sure how that's useful. The only options are inspect and attack. And inspecting is not useful, and attacking seems really counterproductive for a guy that's trying to get a long run going in a series. We clearly have struggled so far. I don't know how far we made it with Wilson, but we went into the eighth day with Tom, so seven complete. Okay, here we are. Here's base and gold. Oh, yes, we're, we're just deep in gold. Let's make a pick. And we're, oh, except we're going to need a shovel for some of this. I forgot about that. So we'll have to break down a couple of these golden boulders before we can dig up these rock piles. They have volcanoes underneath or like uh, some sort of lava geyser. So they're particularly deadly. And this biome isn't exactly friendly. I'm not sure there's any food that grows here or anything like that. We need one more golden nugget and we're in good shape. Uh, being on this island uh, means we can make luxury tools. We can make the high-end tools once we... Uh, once we get a shovel and we can break these up and get all the gold out of them. Uh, for now, we just need five. I think five is the amount you need for an alchemy engine and a uh, and a science machine. Which we should get right here. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's fine. And we'll see what else is on this island. Yeah, jungle. Let's look for a biome that doesn't suck. Jungle, I don't like. If I can avoid it. Oh, good. Look at this. More gold. We're, we got more gold than we'll ever need. This is great. We're going to be making great tools. Let's just see if there's like a nice plains biome or a beach or something out here so I don't have to set up camp in this barren wasteland. Yes! This is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, no. Wild boar house. This is like a little patch of green in the middle of nowhere. Oh, good. Spiders. Yeah, this is fun. Spiders are actually good to have around because you'll need their resources. Uh, let's make a torch. Uh, this island seems to not have anything but rock and golden rock and crazy lava geysers. I don't think we're finding what we need here. There's spiders. There's a little bit of jungle. Oh, a couple spider nests and a, a little bit of jungle. And, um... What I want is some sort of plains or beach. Something I can... A home home on the range. Give me a home. Where the, the beefalo roam. And the... Pigs aren't such jerks when you smack them in the face with an axe. If you know what I mean. Going back to the start of this damn episode. I guess we're setting up camp right here. Um, I hate it, but that's the case. It's full on nighttime right now. Uh, put away the torch. We'll get Lucy out. And we'll chop down some wood. And hopefully no snakes fall out of these trees. Because once you pick a fight with one snake at night, you're fighting a dozen snakes at night. 
There you go. There's one. Like I said, I don't want to pick a fight with this fool, but he's not going to leave me alone, is he? Alright, I'm going to try and add some fuel to the fire. Alright, add some fuel to the fire. There you go. Alright, now I'll wreck you fools. Hey, how many times do I have to chop this guy? Those weren't hitting. That's lame. Yeah, now you're getting finished. There you go. I can't even pick up the monster meat. Let's eat these seeds. Pick up that monster meat. Cool. Okay. So what do we do? I guess we chop down this jungle. I mean, we got Lucy. She's unbreakable. We just chop it down and we turn this into, like, gorgeous plains and farmland. That's what I'm thinking. Now this tree, it says regular jungle tree. Just like any other tree. If you try and use your normal axe on it, it just breaks instantly. I'm wondering what happens if I try and use Lucy on it. Oh, yes! Oh, slow down a bit. Yes, the dark secret has to do with chopping too much. And a tree like this. Yes, I felled it. What do we get? Oh, what is this cool thing? Drop this. Living log. Oh, I found this before. That's neat. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna level this, this jungle. And we're gonna turn it into our base. We got all the gold we'll ever need here. There's spiders. There's no monkeys. Oh! There's my dark secret. I've done it. Uh, I turn into a were beaver. So we're Woody. Woody turns into a beaver. You can use him to just... This is actually perfect timing. You can use him to just break the hell out of things. And he's got this log meter. And if you let him eat wood, he will stay a were beaver forever. But if you just let him run around smashing everything, like this, then, um... Oh, God! What did I eat? And the big problem is that I, c I have to make sure that I don't turn back into Woody at night. Oh, God, guys, and look at the time. This is the end of an episode. I think I'm going to end this episode as a were beaver, and in the next one, we're going to come back in the middle of some crazy were beaver transformation. Oh, Lord. We died as Tom Hanks in this episode, and we came back as a vicious were beaver lumberjack. It's amazing. I'm going to just chop all this stuff down. But if I stay too long, if I stay too long as this were beaver, if I eat too much wood like that, then I, then when I transform, I'm going to be in terrible shape. So I just need to finish clearing this out. That's it. We'll do it next episode. Geeks, thank you so much for checking out this episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. I'm loving playing it, having a blast as this giant beaver, and I will see you fools in the next episode. Charlie serves the drinks. Charlie. I deal with the drunks. Okay, him. I remember now. Ooh, the dude's giving me the stink eye. Do you hear that? That's not a standard Fallout song. Oh, yeah, right. Oh.